then again, man, what you what you think about what's going on in Portland? You know, I don't know what to think anymore. And and here's why I'm gonna say this. And I'm gonna say this. You know who been saying this? I remember you saying this shit years ago. And it ain't like we so fucking old. You used to say this shit. Go ahead. Hey man, the news gets every thing wrong they twist shit in in they twirl it to make it look like whatever do you honestly believe is by accident fuck no 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 there's an agenda behind it there's a agenda behind it um but so you know uh i got some i got some family up there in portland so um i was talking to uh my family member up that way and he's like don't believe the shit you see on tv you know and 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 Number one, that that should be like everybody's. That should be, that should be everybody's uh, thought when it comes to TV. Don't don't trust anything you see on that mother. Right. Uh, the news gets everything wrong. Even incidences that you've been in, that you were there and you saw what happened. Every time you get home, and watch that shit on the news. You're like, not what happened. Right. So you know, so you say you saying that people aren't getting kicked out. I, I don't know. I don't know. All I'm saying okay. is that what I saw on TV about the Portland shit, I guarantee you there's some bullshit behind it. And what I saw is not 100% accurate. So okay, I can't we ain't going to really delve it. too much into that because I was yeah. what, what I what I picked it up on was was the Jimmy Dore show. Yeah, I did see that. I did see that. Okay, but 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 let me let me say this. You said the, you said the news gets everything wrong. Have you ever seen Wag the Dog? Mm-mm. You got to watch Wag the Dog. You got to watch that shit, okay? Is that the, a Dustin Hoffman movie or something? Oh, man. It was Dustin Hoffman. I think it was Dustin Hoffman. It was was Robert De Niro in it. All I know is I think this, this politician got in trouble for fucking around with underage girls. And so what they did was they got this Hollywood producer to come up with this whole fucking fake-ass war with some some uh, either either eastern european country some shit like that and they got all these actors and they made them sign all of these um agreements that they can never do any other films they got these one time payments they can never do any other films and they they created this entire this fake fucking war to get this motherfucker out of trouble and they ran that shit on the news stations Jesus. They even had motherfuckers come up with a soundtrack. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, man, I mean, that's, um, was that laid the groundwork for, for crisis actors, right? That's where uh, you get all this uh, crisis actor bullshit. I don't even know if it's bullshit. Um, it, 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 I'm sorry, man. I, I, I'll throw it. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Track if I talk about no, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go um, ahead. So I've always thought that that whole crisis actor shit was bullshit. You know, sort of like what you were talking about with Wag the Dog. You know, they had actors come in. They couldn't do anything else. They just had to do this one thing, and then they never had right. it again. You know, um, so I, I you remember the Sandy Hook shooting, you know, and all these other school shootings uh, in, in what's that that fat motherfucker? Not Rush Limbaugh. What's, what's the other? Uh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones yeah. kept talking about, you know, these were crisis actors. And then you can find these same people from the news in, like, uh, was it Sandy Hook in the same acting same roles in some other school shooting. And yeah, I thought it was complete bullshit until um, I came across that Vegas shooting. So in the Vegas shooting, there was a kid that was a, he was a Marine. He was like 18, you know, maybe yeah, young Marine, you know, he ends up saving a couple of people. Once the gunshots ring out a month or two later, He's in California at that country bar where that motherfucker walked in and started shooting people. He saves a couple of people at that shooting too. Now, mind you, you're in two major mass shootings in the United States within months, and you're on the news saving people in both of them. It it, it stuck it it stood out to me as such utter bullshit. That I was like, you know what? Maybe this crisis, crisis actor thing. Hey man, is, you is you gotta shit. send me, you gotta send me that shit. Oh, for sure. Because the crisis actor shit I seen. Now, first of all, 
let me see. Should I go with there first? Let me say this first. Let me say first. Say this first. What really got me into that shit was Alan Watt. Alan Watts. Was Alan Watt or Alan Watts. And I think he's a he's an Irish Scottish dude. And he talks about all this shit. Yeah. And he broke down, I think, Sandy Hook. And he was breaking down the names of some of the people involved, the officers, witnesses. And I'm going to send it to you because I don't want to say this shit. But he got me interested in, in all of that. I don't want to say this shit on here. I got you. But uh, I found a, a video. It was a video or something where they showed pictures of this woman. And she was the same woman that was, it was a woman and a guy. And they were involved in the Boston Marathon shit oh okay but then you see him again somewhere else and you you like at what point do you like uh, at what point the shit do you keep saying things are a coincidence hey man i'm telling you i'm telling you right now if we let that fucking shit if we let those those clips or those videos play long enough you'll hear exercise 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 <laughs> I'm telling that's you, that's hilarious. Man. That's I'm fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> or did you see? Uh, hold on, what the fuck is this? Or did you see how, like, in some of these uh, news stories, like the camera might drift too far to the right or left? Yeah, it ain't shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, that that camera, that camera drift too far to the left or right, man, and you would just be like, "Whoa, it's a motherfucker in the uh in, on the empty street with a crew." I mean, bro, you don't know shit no more, man. They got all this deep fake shit now, bro, bro. So my homeboy sent me a a, a photo of like a meme, a meme generator. Uh, it can throw your face on whoever. So his face is on fucking Tony Montana's face, snorting cocaine in Scarface one, like Scarface one. <laughs> hey, well, Scarface. <laughs> when did the second one come out? Hey, Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> <laughs> um, Carlito's way. Man. Carlito's way, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, this deep fake shit is 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 real shit, man. Especially. I I saw that they're not talking about recasting um, Chadwick Boseman for for Black Panther. You know they they could run a motherfucker's face through a whole movie. Just think about that. Three hours and make it convincing. Look, man, they did it with the end of uh, the Crow. Yeah, yeah. Remember Brandon in. Lee? Yeah, remember Brandon Lee died before that shit was finished. Oh yeah, yeah. That was back in what ninety. 90? How fucking old is The Crow? The Crow's old as shit. The Crow's old, man. It's, it's still a good movie. Let me see. 94. Yeah, so 26 years ago, they were, they, they, you know, they were able to do this shit. 26 and, years ago. And, 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 bro, if you're not one of us, like, who pays attention to that type of shit, it's a, it's a handful of other people. And at the end, the end of the crow, he got shot. Okay, they said they they said a lot of that shit was already filmed, but the big thing was they said to film the other stuff, they got somebody to look like him. But at the end of that shit, you can clearly see they put Brandon Lee's face on top of old dudes. You can see the see that the effects weren't as good as they were now. Right. Okay, and they were doing that shit back then. It's a fucking trip. It's a fucking trip. You know, nothing you see now, you can say, hey, man, I, you know, I saw it on video. It's real. You know, nothing. Nothing. Nothing, man. I'm, look, look, they got the deep fakes. They got the fucking holograms. Mm hmm. Hey, man. You know, Remember they had Michael up there dancing his ass off? Shit. <laughs> Before that, I'm they just had just a slave to the rhythm. Yeah. Yeah. 
for that and that hologram of Tupac up there with uh with Snoop Dogg doing um what gangster party or or what was it? Because it was like MTV Music Awards or BT Music Awards or some shit. I think he did Gangster Party and, and yeah, because Snoop was out there. Snoop was out there. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, you know, it, it's kind of just like, is technology going too far? I hey, man, you know, has it I, been gone too far? At at one point, do you say stop? Do you want right. to live like Amish people? At what point do you tell a nigga who is saying, look what I discovered, or look what this can do, we don't need that? That's a weird, weird place. Yeah, let's give them a $100 million grant to make more. And we'll use it for military applications. Everything has military applications. But, you know, without military funding, a lot, I you know, we might still be in the dark age with a lot of shit. It's well, we would definitely, we would literally, we would literally be in the dark age. You know, just think Manhattan Project, all government funded. You know, Come without on, nuclear which power, was man, that again? Uh, the the uh, creating the bombs for World War II. You know, mm-hmm. but without that, you don't have nuclear reactors, mm-hmm. and you don't have and what, what's nuclear reactors make up what twenty percent of of the uh, energy in the United States and the majority of the energy in like Germany or France or one of those European countries. I, it, it makes a shit ton of clean energy for the amount of waste, very, very extremely toxic waste that it produces, but the amount of energy that you create for the small footprint of waste that you create is, uh, is I can definitely dig that. What I'm saying is when you can use that shit to make it look like a politician or a world leader somewhere said something he didn't say right. for the sole purpose of invading that region. Not saying this shit has happened. Just saying the technology is out there for the shit to happen. Hey, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I I, I, I I hear what I'm definitely what you talking about, but hey man, that's all I'm saying. You can see my thoughts right now. That's that's the <laughs> that's the crazy part about it. Hey man.